لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك blessings of hajj the spiritual journey alhamdulillah rabbil alamin was salatu was salam ala sayyidil mursalin amma ba'd fa a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim as salatu was salam alayka ya rasul allah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya habib allah as salatu was salam alayka ya nabiy allah وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madri Channel. Alhamdulillah, Zawadil. Once again, we are in the beautiful silsila blessings of Hajj. Alhamdulillah. In previous silsila, we learnt about the important rulings of Ehram and Tawaf. And inshallah, Zawadil. In today's silsila, we we'll learn very beautiful things about how to perform Sa'i and the important rulings about the travelling of Mina. So be with us, inshallah, Azza wa Jal, we'll learn so many Madani pearls in today's silsila. Before we start our topic, inshallah, Azza wa Jal, we will hear excellence of Durud-e Paak. The prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind, and the most generous and kind, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, reciting Durud upon me is refulgence on the bridge of Sirat. The one reciting Durood upon me 18 times on Friday, his 80 years sins will be forgiven. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. So wherever you are, recite Durood Paak loudly with me. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal, in previous silsilas, we learned that how to make tawaf and now after tawaf, we have to come on Maqamu Ibrahim. Come at Maqamu Ibrahim and recite the following Quranic verse. وَاتَّخِذُوا مِن مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُسَلَّى Translation. And make the standing place of Ibrahim alayhi salam a spot for offering salah. Salah for tawaf. Offer two raka'at salah of tawaf near Maqamu Ibrahim if space is available near it. Otherwise offer it anywhere in Masjid al-Haram, provided the time is not makru for salah. Recite Surah Kafirun and Surah Ikhlas after Surah Fatiha in the first and the second rakat respectively. The salah is wajib and it is a sunnah to offer it immediately after the completion of tawaf. Most people keep their shoulder uncovered even during salah. It is makru to do so. The act of ittiba that is keeping the right shoulder uncovered is done during all the seven rounds of only such tawaf which is followed by sa'i. If the time is makru, offer this salah later. Keep in mind that it is essential to offer this salah after offering the two rakat at Maqamu Ibrahim. Recite the following dua. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma innaka ta'lamu sirri wa ala niyati. فَقْبَلْ مَعْذِرَتِي وَتَعْلَمُ حَاجَتِي فَأَعْطِنِي سُؤَلِي وَتَعْلَمُ مَا فِي نَفْسِي فَاغْفِرْ لِي ذُنُوبِي اللهم إني أسألك إيمانا يباشر قلبي ويقينا صادقا حتى أعلم أنه لا يصيبني إلا ما كتبت لي ورضا منك بما قسمت لي Ya Arham al Oh Allah Azza wa Jal, you are aware of all my concealed and open deeds. Hence accept my apology. And you are aware of my needs. Bestow upon me what I seek. And you are aware of my inner being. Hence forgive my sins. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, I ask you for such a faith which overwhelms my heart and a true belief that I will be facing only what has been predestined for me and contentment with what is in my fate from you. O oh, the most merciful of all. Ameen. Now come at Multazam. After completing Salah and Dua, embrace Multazam, the section between Hajrul Aswad and the sacred door of the Holy Kaaba is called Multazam. 
the blessed door is not including in multazam embrace multazam with your chest belly right cheek and left cheek raise both hands above the head and spread them on multazam or spread right hand towards the blessed door and the left towards hajrul aswad let tears flow and make dua sobbing with extreme humbleness and humility for yourself and the entire ummah in your native language this is the place where dua is accepted also recite this dua having recited durood e pak dua to be made at multazam allahumma ya rabbal bayt al atiq a'tik riqabana wa riqab aba'ina wa ummahatina wa ikhwanina wa auladina min an nar يا ذا الجود والكرم والفضل والمن والعطاء والإحسان اللهم أحسن عاقبتنا في الأمور كلها وأجرنا من خزي الدنيا وعذاب الآخرة اللهم إني عبدك وابن عبدك واقف تحت بابك ملتزم بأعتابك متذلل بين يديك أرجو رحمتك واخشى عذابك من النار يا قديم الاحسان اللهم اني اسالك ان ترفع ذكري وتضع وزري وتصلح امري وتطهر قلبي وتنظر لي في قبري وتغفر لي ذنبي واسالك الدرجات العلى من الجنه امين برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين او الله عز وجل O creator of this ancient house free our necks and those of our ancestors our mothers our sisters our brothers and children from the fire of hell o the forgiver the most merciful the most beneficent the most kind the bestower and the most generous o allah azza wa jal bless us with good end in all our affairs and save us from remorse in the world and torment in the hereafter o oh allah azza wa jal i am your servant and the son of your servant i am standing beneath your sacred door i have clung to its door step and i am expressing my humbleness before you and i am begging for your mercy and i fear the torment of hell whoever kind be kind with me at this moment I implore you to raise my name and lighten the burden of my sins and reform my affairs cleanse my inner self illuminate my grave and forgive my sins and I am begging you for high status in paradise ameen bijahin nabiyyin ameen after that my dear hajis my dear islamic brothers and viewers of madani channel come at zamzam well beer zamzam come at the well of zamzam reciting bismillahir rahmanir rahim drink zamzam water whilst standing and facing the qibla drink it in three sips till your stomach is full after drinking the zamzam zamzam water say alhamdulillah azza wa jal while drinking look at the holy kaaba after each sip sprinkle some of this blessed water over your body and moisten face arms and head with it but take care that no drop falls on the floor the prophet of rahma the intercessor of umma sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam has stated the purpose for which zamzam is drunk will be fulfilled inshallah now recite this dua after drinking zamzam water allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a ورزقا واسعا وشفاء من كل داء او الله عز وجل اي اسك يو فور يوزفل نوليدج انكريزد سستيننس اند كيور فور اول ديزيزز امين سعي اوف صفا اند مروا بريبير فور سعي بين صفا اند مروا ناو هاو ايفر اف يو ار تايرد اور اوكيبايد يو مي تيك سم ريست بيفور پرفارمنگ سعي It may be noted that it is not a sunnah to perform ittiba in sa'i. Now perform istilam of Hajrul Aswad 
as usual by raising both hands up to ear and then recite the following dua bismillahi walhamdulillahi wallahu akbar wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah now come at babu safa the mount safa is outside masjid al haram since it is sunnah to place out left foot from whilst exiting a masjid do the same here while exiting masjid al haram and recite the following dua allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlika wa rahmatik o oh allah azza wa jal i beg you for your mercy and grace while reciting salat ala nabi durood e pak now go uphill at safa such that you may see the holy kaaba from there this can be achieved walking uphill just slightly therefore avoid climbing to mount the mount too high like the masses as this is contrary to sunnah you should then recite the following dua abda'u bima bada allah ta'ala inna safa wal marwata min sha'ir allah faman hajj al bayt av i'tamara fala junaha alayhi an yatawaf bihima wa man tatawwa khayran fa inna allah shakirun alim i begin with that which allah azza wa jalla has begin with this holy statement of his without doubt safa and marwa are from amongst the signs from allah azza wa jalla whosoever performs hajj or umrah of this house there is no sin on him for taking rounds of these two and whoever performs a good deed at his own will undoubtedly allah azza wa jalla is the most rewarding and all knowing out of ignorance many people are seen waving their palms towards the kaaba likewise some signal with their hands and some raise hands up to the their ears three times and then drop them all these are incorrect manners what you should do is to raise your hands up to your shoulders as in dua while facing the kaaba make dua for as long as it takes to recite 25 ayahs of surah al-baqara intention of sa'i Allahumma inni uridu as-sa'ya bayna as-safa wal marwa sab'ata ashwat li wajhika al-kareem fayassirhu li wa taqabbalhu minni o Allah azza wa jalla i intend to perform the seven rounds of sa'i between safa and marwa for your pleasure make it easy for me and accept it from me after that whilst busy with zikr and salat an-nabi walk from safa towards marwa at medium pace nowadays these passages marble flooring and air coolers there was a time when sayyiduna hajira radhiyallahu ta'ala anha had performed sa'i just for a moment think of that heart breaking situation what this area was barren with no sign of water and vegetation sayyiduna ismail alayhi salatu wassalam was an infant crying desperately out of extreme thirst and sayyiduna hajira radhiyallahu ta'ala anha was restlessly searching for water in the scorching heat of this rocky land on reaching the first green mark islamic brothers should begin to run but in a dignified way not not uncontrollably and those on wheelchair should step up their speed if there is a crowd wait for a moment when there is hope of the crowd being decreased whilst running take care that neither you or anybody else gets hurt as running here is a sunnah but causing pain to a muslim is haram islamic sisters should not run now islamic brothers whilst running and islamic sisters whilst walking should recite the following dua rabbi ghfir warham wa tajawaz amma ta'lam innaka ta'lam ma la na'lam innaka antal a'azzul akram واهدني للتي هي اقوم اللهم اجعله حجا مبرورا وسعيا مشكورا وذنبا مغفورا او ماي رب عز وجل فورغيف مي اند هاف ميرسي اون مي فورغيف ماي رونغ دوينجز ذات ار نون تو يو وذاوت داوت يو ار فولي اوير بت وي ار نوت وذاوت داوت يو ار جريت اند جلوريفايد كيپ مي اون ذا ستريت باث او الله عز وجل اكسبت ماي حج make my sa'i fruitful and forgive my sins ameen when you arrive at the next green mark 
slow down and proceed towards Marwa. Look, you are now at the blessed mount of Marwa. Most people try to go as high as possible, but you should not do so. Rather abide by the sunnah. You should go uphill a little only. Even by reaching as far as the check marble floor starts, you are considered to have climbed Marwa. Although nowadays the Kaaba is not visible from there due to various constructions, you should still face towards the direction of the Kaaba and make dua for the same amount of time spent on Safa. There is no need to make the intention again as it has already be ma been made. Now you have completed one round. Now proceed towards Safa, making dua, perform the same act between the two green lights that's called Malayn Akhdarain as you did during the first round. That is Islamic brothers should run while Islamic sisters should just walk in the passage whilst making dua. On reaching Safa, two rounds would be completed. The seventh round will finish at Marwa. Your Sa'i is now complete. Salah of Sa'i. If it is not a makru time for Salah, perform two rakat Salah in Masjidul Haram as it is mustahab. It is reported that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam offered two rakat Salah having performed Sa'i at the border of Mataf in the direction of Hajrul Aswad. This act of performing Tabaf in Sa'i is called Umrah. So Umrah has been completed for the Qarin and the Mutamatti'ah. Now the Tawaf al Qudum. For a Mufrid, this Tawaf is in fact Tawaf al Qudum. That is a ritual for attendance in the court of Allah. A Qarin should perform one more Tawaf and Sa'i with the intention of Tawaf al Qudum, which is a Sunnah for both a Qarin and a Mufrid. Although missing it is a bad act, no dam will be Wajib. Halk or taksir. Men should now to either halk, that is get hair entire head shaved or taksir, that is get hair trimmed. Definition of taksir. Taksir implies cutting the hair of a quarter of the head equal to a finger digit in length. As a caution, cut a bit more than this length to ensure that the shorter hair present in the center of the head also gets cut equal to a finger digit in length. Some people just cut a few strands of hair with a pair of scissors, which is absolutely wrong for the Hanafis. And the restrictions of Ihram will not be terminated either in this case. Now the taksir for Islamic sisters. It is haram for Islamic sisters to shave their entire head. They should perform taksir only. An easy way of it is to cut hair from the end of the plate of hair a little more than the length of a finger digit. It is important that at least the hair of one quarter of the head must be cut. Now all the hajis, whether they are mufrid, mutamattir or karin, will be spending these pleasant moments of their lives in Makkatul Mukarrama, eagerly waiting for 8th Zul Hijjah. Dear Hajis, this is the sacred city where the noble Prophet ﷺ has spent nearly 53 years of his blessed life. It is the city which brings back the memories of our beloved Prophet ﷺ. Therefore, show utmost respect and reverence here. Refrain from even the intention of sin, as one sin is also equivalent to a hundred thousand sins here. And one good deed is equivalent 
to a hundred thousand deeds. Swearing, backbiting, tale telling, lying, etc., are always haram. But committing any of these sins and every other sin here is equivalent to committing one hundred thousand sins. Moreover, do not be like those unwise people who shave off their beards whilst doing halq. Remember that shaving off beard or trimming it less than a fist length are both haram acts and doing so here is equivalent to committing 100,000 haram acts. Dear Hajis, your face is being kissed by the sacred breeze of Makkah Park and Medina Munawwara. Therefore, let the blessed beard grow and adorn your face with this holy sunnah of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam forever. Sarkar ka aashik bhi kya daadi mudata hai? Sarkar ka aashik bhi kya daadi mudata hai? Kyun ishq ka chehre se izhaar nahi hota? Can a prophet devotee shave his beard? Why does his face not express his devotion? Now what to do during a stay in Makkatul Mukarrama? Perform as many nafil tawaf as possible as this is more preferable for you than even nafil salah. Remember, after performing a nafil tawaf, one should first embrace multazam before offering two rak'at salah at Maqam Ibrahim. Number two, perform tawafs on behalf of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, Sayyiduna Ghosul Azam radiyallahu ta'ala no, your parents' spiritual guide means Sheikh or Murshid, etc. Keep as many nafil fasts as possible, reaping the rewards of a hundred thousand nafil fasts for each. Take care that whenever you break the fast, that is, do iftar within Masjid al-Haram or whenever you drink zamzam water there, do not forget to make the intention of etikaf first. Otherwise, it will be a sin which will be equivalent to 100,000 sins in Masjid al-Haram. Unfortunately, nowadays people do not pay attention to this ruling. Number four, whenever you glance at the Holy Kaaba, recite La ilaha illallah wallahu akbar thrice, Salat al-Nabi once and make dua afterwards, inshallah azawajal, dua will be accepted. This glad tiding of the accent, acceptance of dua is for every glance at the holy Kaaba. Now the very important caution. It has often been observed that some people keep their shoes, slippers outside the sacred gate of Masjid al-Haram and Masjid al-Nababi ala sahiba has salatu was salam. And on the return from the masjid, they wear any pair of shoes they like. This is impermissible and a sin. Although the owners of those shoes may be not traceable due to crowd, it is still unlawful to use them. The rulings for such shoes are like those of lukta, that is lost belongings of someone else. If the owner could not be found, whoever finds this lukta can use it only when he is fakir himself. Otherwise, he has to donate it to some fakir. Sallu al habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Advice for Islamic sisters. Islamic sisters should not come into Masjid al-Haram or Masjid al-Nabawi to offer salah. As the objective is to earn reward and they may attain more reward by offering salah at home as stated in the following hadith. The prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart and mind. The most generous and kind Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has stated, There is more reward for women in offering Salah at her home rather than offering in my masjid, that is Masjidun Nabawi. Therefore, they should offer Salah in their dwellings. However, when there is no crowd, they should come to Masjidul Haram daily to perform Tawaf or visit the blessed masjid of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam daily to make their salat and salam. Instead of spending time in shopping, all respected hajis should try to spend time in worship 
as one may not be able to get this opportunity again. ये लम्हे जिंदगी में बार बार आया नहीं करते सेवन हराम एक्ट्स ड्यूरिंग तवाफ नंबर वन टू परफॉर्म तवाफ विदाउट वुदू नंबर टू अनवेलिंग ऑफ अ क्वार्टर ऑफ दैट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी विच इज इंक्लूडेड इन सित्र फॉर एग्जाम्पल अनवेलिंग ऑफ अ क्वार्टर ऑफ थाई इज हराम लाइक वाइज अनवेलिंग ऑफ अ क्वार्टर ऑफ द ईयर और द रिस्ट ऑफ एन इस्लामिक सिस्टर्स इज हरा इस्लामिक सिस्टर्स पे वेरी लिटिल अटेंशन टू दिस ड्यूरिंग तवाफ स्पेशली वेन डूइंग इस्तेम ऑफ हजर असवद अ क्वार्टर ऑफ द रिस्ट ऑफ सेवरल इस्लामिक सिस्टर्स इज अनवेल्ड इवन समाइम्स कंप्लीट रिस्ट इज अनवेल्ड विच इज हराम अनवेलिंग द ईयर और द रिस्ट टू अ नॉन महरम मेल इज हराम इवन बिसाइड्स तवाफ फॉर लर्निंग Detailed rulings regard, regarding Islamic veil. Study Amir Ahmed Sunnat's book entitled "Zakhmi Sam" and the beautiful booklet for Islamic sisters. Parde ke baare mein sawal aur jawab. Number three: to make tawaf on someone's carriage or someone's back without a valid excuse. Number four: to crawl or drag oneself while sitting during tawaf without a valid excuse. Number five, to make tawaf in the opposite direction, keeping Kaaba at right side. Number six, to pass from inside the hatim during tawaf is haram. Number seven, to perform less than seven rounds, it is haram. Now the seven makru acts during tawaf. Number one, useless talking. Number two. to make dua and zikr aloud therefore it is makru that a person recites dua aloud during tawaf and others also repeat it aloud number 3 to perform tawaf in impure clothes as a caution don't carry used shoes slippers with you during tawaf number 4 to perform tawaf with longer intervals in between the rounds of tawaf However there is no harm if one need to go to the toilet or the make wudu he may leave he should resume tawaf from where he had left there is no need to restart from the beginning number 5 to start the next tawaf without offering the two rak'at salah of the previous one however if the time is makruh for salah there is no harm in doing so For example, several tawafs may be performed without offering salah of tawaf from sube sadik till 20 minutes after the appearance of the edge of the sun at sunrise, or after offering salatul asr till sunset. However, after the elapsing of bakru time, two rakat salah will have to be offered for each tawaf. Number six, eating is makru during tawaf. but one may drink water and number 7 to perform tawaf in the intense need of passing urine or breaking wind these are the makru acts in tawaf and now the seven permissible acts during sa'i and tawaf number 1 to make salam number 2 to reply to salam number 3 to talk when necessary number 4 to drink water eating is not allowed during tawaf but it is allowed during sa'i number 5 to recite verses of hamd naat or mankabat in low voice number 6 to pass across the front of someone offering salah as tawaf is also like salah however passing is impermissible during sa'i number 7 to ask or answer an islamic ruling صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم three different rulings regarding sa'i number 1 performing sa'i by walking on foot is wajib however performing it by sliding while sitting or riding is permissible in case of compulsion number 2 purity is not a conditional requirement for sa'i A woman suffering from menses may also perform sa'i. And number three, 
it is mustahab to perform sa'i in the state of wudu with purity of body and clothes while starting sa'i first recite dua of safa and then make the intention for sa'i important advice for islamic sisters islamic sisters should keep themselves apart from males if they don't take care at such sacred places where else will they take care most of the unwise women intrude into the males crowd in order to touch hajrul aswad and rukn yamani or to become closer to the holy kaaba how shameful it is this is a grave sin and a very shameful act remember that one sin here amounts to 100000 sins putting on ihram of hajj for mutamatti if you have not yet put on the ihram of hajj put on it on the 7th of dhul hijjah its intention may be made at home but it is preferable to make intention in the following words after offering two rak'at nafl salah in masjidul haram now the intention of hajj allahumma inni uridul hajja fayassirhu li wa taqabbalhu minni wa a'inni alayhi wa barik li fi nawaitul hajja wa ahramtu bihi lillahi ta'ala ya allah azza wa jal i make the intention of hajj make it easy for me and accept it from me help me in offering it and make it blessed for me i have made intention for hajj and put an ihram of it for the sake of allah azza wa jal after making the intention loudly recite labbaik thrice but islamic sisters should recite in low voice now the restriction of ihram become effective once again the labbaik is labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika lak labbaik innal hamda wan ni'mata lak wal mulk la sharika lak labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika lak labbaik إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم leaving for mina Today it is the morning of Eid Zul Hijjah. Excitement fills the air. Everybody is eager to move for Mina. Take the necessary items. Example: rosary, prayer mat, compass, some utensils, water bottle that can be hung around the neck, and address of the mawlim. And please take a school bag with you, as if you have this bag with you, your hands are free and your luggage on your shoulder. the address of the mawlim should always be with you as it will prove to be beneficial in case you get lost don't forget to take money for meeting the expenses of qurbani and meal etc if possible make the journey to mina arafat and muzdalifa on food as 70 millions good deeds will be written for every step until you return to makkatul mukarrama wallahu dhul fadl al azim recite talbiya and durood e pak abundantly all the way as soon as mina appears recite durood e pak and the following dua allahumma hadha minan famnun alayya bima mananta bihi ala awliyaik o allah azza wa jal this is mina bless me with the boon that you bestowed upon your awliya beloveds sallu ala al habib صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم look you have now entered the glorious valley of mina how captivating is the scene here tents are everywhere in the plains and on the plateaus stay in the tent provided by your mawlim you will be offering five salah from salatul zuhur of 8th dhul hijjah 
to Salatul Fajr of 9th Zul Hijjah in Mina as the beloved and blessed Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also did the same. In Mina, around about 40 Hajis are accommodated in a single tent and the tents in Arafat are even bigger. Regretfully, men and women both are accommodated in the same tent. There, sometimes there is no arrangement for veiling for women nor do the Hajis bother about it. Modest Hajis are advised to carry shawls with them to prevent intermingling of their women with non-mehram men. They should make a temporary partition with shawls at a side of the tent in Mina and Arafat. This day is very important. Some unwise people may be wasting their precious time in idle chat, but you should not pay any attention to them. Remain busy with worship. Tonight is the night of Arafah. If possible, spend this night in worship. There are many other nights to sleep and rest. This opportunity may not come again. If possible, recite the following dua a thousand times at the night of Arafat. If you cannot recite it thousand times, recite it as many times as you can recite it at least once. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Dua of Night of Arafah Subhanalladhi fis samai arshuhu Subhanalladhi fil ardi mawtihu Subhanalladhi fil bahri sabiluhu Subhanalladhi fin nari sultanuhu Subhanalladhi fil jannati rahmatuhu Subhanalladhi fil qabri qadauhu Subhanalladhi fil hawai ruhuhu سبحان الذي رفع السماء سبحان الذي وضع الأرض سبحان الذي لا ملجا ولا منجا منه إلا إليه Pure is he Azza wa Jal whose arsh in the heavens Pure is he Azza wa Jal whose sovereignty in the earth Pure is he Azza wa Jal whose path in, in the oceans Pure is he Azza wa Jal whose sultanate is in hell Pure is he Azza wa Jal whose mercy is in paradise. Pure is he Azza wa Jal whose commandment in the grave. Pure is he Azza wa Jal under whose authority are the souls present in the air. Pure is he Azza wa Jal who has elevated the skies and pure is he Azza wa Jal who has lowered the earth. Pure is he Azza wa Jal from whose torment there is no refuge except towards him. Subhanallah. My dear Islamic brothers and viewers of Madhuri channel, Inshallah Zawadal, in the next silsila, we'll learn about the beautiful journey of Arafat. How to make dua in Arafat. To be with us for the next silsila also, my dear Islamic brothers, we all want to travel for that blessed journey. May Allah Zawadal give us the chance to go over there. It is my suggestion for all of you. If you are, want to go for that blessed journey of Hajj, try to make intention for Madani Kafla, Madani Caravan of Dawat Islami. May Allah Azzawajal, for the sake of Madani Kafla, give us the chance of the travel of the Madinah Munawwara. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Labayk, Allahumma labayk, labayk ala shariq, alaka labayk. Blessings of Hajj, the spiritual journey.